Welcome to our tech troubleshooting session. Today, we're tackling a perplexing issue that many developers encounter. Our viewer is experiencing flaky behavior with their web API while using Fiddler as a proxy in a .NET Core environment. They describe a situation where calls to the service work intermittently, sometimes succeeding multiple times in a row, only to suddenly stop without any apparent reason. They've tried various solutions, including adjusting their URL settings and updating their configuration file, but nothing seems to resolve the inconsistency. Let's dive deeper into this challenge and explore potential solutions together. Alright guys, we're back with another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find your solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's begin by understanding the issue you're facing with Fiddler and your .NET Core Web API. The calls to your service are inconsistent, which can be frustrating. First, ensure that your Fiddler is properly configured to handle both IPv4 and IPv6 requests. You can do this by checking the Fiddler settings. Next, verify that your .NET client is correctly pointing to the Fiddler proxy. You should use either localhost.fiddler or ipv6.fiddler in your API calls. If the problem persists, consider checking your firewall settings. Sometimes, firewalls can block certain requests, leading to flaky behavior. Lastly, review your configuration file for any potential issues. Make sure that the settings align with the guidelines provided by Telerik. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If Fiddler with Web API is acting flaky, it might be due to how localhost traffic is handled. Make sure to start Fiddler before your application to capture traffic correctly. Localhost traffic doesn't go through default network interfaces making it hard for tools like Fiddler to capture it. To improve this, consider routing traffic through IPv4. A better solution is to use your machine name instead of localhost. This ensures that Fiddler captures all traffic consistently. And that's it, I hope that helped find the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.